right. Uh, real nice day here in Vegas. Sometimes we get those perfect days, you know. And I think this is like one of them. And today I want to talk a little about um, some historical significance. Mainly how Europe really came to be like the melting pot. And then when it like really melted, then it's like, you know, really separated. So this is what, it, you know, from the historians are saying is that Manuel the first of Greece, he was like, I guess, blind, Europe was mainly blind, you know, but a lot of the whites live in Asia. So what eventually happened was Genghis Khan, he's like, you know, he went on a rampage or something and a lot of people start moving out. So they start f forming bonds with the European because Europe was mainly a, it's a mainly, look at it now, it's mainly a small a real small area and it's like really adjacent to Africa so a lot of the history history and science and all that came up from Africa so when the whites came over to Europe from Asia it was a problem of educating the people. So it's like Europe had to go into like overdrive and to try to bring either some educators in or try to do something to try to get people educated that came over from Asia. So after the influx of whites from Asia, you, you saw a lot of, a great number of colleges and schools being built, but before it wasn't that many, it was only like three, three or four colleges in Europe at that time, but after the influx of, of whites into Asia, there was a necessity to try to educate the, 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 the people that came over from Asia. So after that happened, then it was so many people that came over. It's like they had to do something to try to alleviate the overcrowding. If you go to Europe now, it's a lot of countries. Uh, it's, it, I know Italy is, is one of them. It's like, especially in Northern Italy, when I was there, it's like a, it was like overcrowded. Man, unbelievable. And so they had to do something to try to over, um, alleviate the overcrowding in in Europe. So mainly, they look for other countries to try to, you know, not necessarily use the word invade, but try to move into that area and try to get the people to relocate there. And that's what eventually happened, happened in the Americas. But once they got to here to the Americas, they still had to try to educate the people that was here also. And so now in the Americas, you see a lot of um, a lot of colleges being created and schools and stuff like that. So mainly it was mainly created to try to educate the Asian that was that came over from Asia into Europe.